guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead and I am doing a Sam's Club shopping haul video today. So I go to Sam's Club once a month and only once a month and I stock up on all the things that I have researched and found out that Sam's Club is the best price on because believe it or not, even though you're buying in bulk there, there are lots of things that are not the best price at Sam's Club. You can get them cheaper at other stores. So we're gonna go through, see the things that I got. This month's haul's larger than usual by quite a bit because I'm buying things for a special event, but we'll go through that here too. And I'll just show you the items that are the best deal at Sam's Club. Here we go. All right, we're gonna start down here at the end of the table, and I always like to, well, I really like to address these uh, soft shell tortilla wrap things. And I've brought this up in several videos before, but this is something that every time I post it, I feel like someone says, I didn't know that, so I'm gonna say it again. These are available in your Sam's Club at a higher price than what you can get them online. So even though I go in the actual store, at the actual building to buy these things, I still purposefully order these online. What, baby? What? Oh yeah, I've got Sharpie mess on my hand. That's what happens when you're left-handed and you're writing in Sharpie. You get it all over you, yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you go into Sam's Club and pick these up, what? What do you, do you want? want? Do you want to come here and play? Come on. She says, no, I want to stay with Mama. You want to sit in the chair? Oh, my watch. Your watch? Yeah. Go find your watch. On, so Sarah will put it. your watch on you. She got a potty watch that tells her when it's time to go potty. Where do I know? What? Little I don't understand. Little it goes off? I don't know where it's at. You have you, to go find it. Do you want to go find it? Come on. No, it'll be better. Do you want to go play your puzzle? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go play with puzzle. Let's go do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Puzzle with a monkey. That's what fixed everything. The puzzle with the monkey. Okay. Back to these tortillas. Um. If you go and pick them up, actually in the store, you're going to pay $8.98 per package. If you order them online and have them shipped to you, you are required to order two at a time. However, you do get them for $7.92 each. And these do keep very well. So I have no problem buying two of them at a time. I have never frozen one of them but I've had uh, viewers comment that they have frozen these and they've been fine too. So if you have a smaller family and go through these slower than we do, maybe freezing would work for you guys. But this works great for us. And almost every month I will buy the two pack. I can occasionally skip a month, but this is a regular purchase here. Sarah does make sourdough tortillas but they're a little bit more time intensive to make and these are things that we buy just for a convenience. So first item there. Moving on to this tuna. Now this tuna is not your typical little can of like the Starkist tuna that has the uh, broth added to it, a vegetable broth or something added to it. The ingredients in this albacore tuna are just tuna, yep just albacore and so it's a I know I prefer this to the the cheaper cans of the you know star kiss tuna and at Sam's Club this is the best price that I have found on this um, higher quality it ends up breaking down to a dollar sixty two per can buying it through Sam's Club here I did get three of those to restock my stockpile that I have in my pantry I also get lemons at Sam's Club now. I used to faithfully buy them through Aldi, but Sam's Club does now beat Aldi on their price per pound for the lemons. 
Um, generally speaking, Sam's Club is not the best deal on produce. I can consistently get better deals a regular price and on sale for produce at other stores, but the exception is the lemons. So I encourage you to go ahead and get those there. I do also get my case of Zevia sodas there once a month. These are sweetened with stevia instead of sugar or corn syrup. So this is something that I prefer to have in the house and the best price is at Sam's Club. And then the maple syrup, I consistently get my maple syrup there for years now. I have found Sam's Club to be the best price on maple syrup and that's compared to Aldi and Walmart, all the other places. So three jugs to refill my stockpile of maple syrup. And then the honey. Now this is not the highest quality honey by any means. I did buy three of those little squirt bottles of honey. But these were the best price per ounce through Sam's Club. And this is just the Members Mark, um, their generic brand of honey. I do also buy raw honey through Azure Standard by the gallon jug. And it's a lot more expensive and I think it's a better quality. But again, this is a convenience item for me, just you know, like those tortilla wraps are. This is a convenience item that um, we, I like the squirt container just for putting in yogurt and things like that. And uh, it is cheaper. So I do keep a stash of this on hand in addition to my high quality stuff that I get from Azure. And then the olive oil, two of the big jugs there. Again, I find the best price at Sam's Club for the extra virgin olive oil. And the Hershey Kisses. The one thing that we use Hershey Kisses for is we have a very easy cookie recipe. The um, little peanut butter cookies with a Hershey Kiss on top. You guys have probably seen them. I think they're fairly common. But that seems to be the cookie recipe that my children, when they are just stepping into baking, they can tackle that one because it's easy and it's fun. And so they all enjoy it. So... Andrew has already done his go around with learning to make things, with learning to make that cookie recipe. David hasn't been interested in it yet, but now Anna is my child that has said, I can bake and I can make these cookies all by myself. So we've used up the stash that I did have, and this is going to replenish it. And um, Sam's Club was the best price on these Hershey Kisses. The Parmesan cheese. I just recently started getting this at Sam's Club and it's because of you guys. So this has been the best price on Parmesan cheese. It's $6.58 a pound. And I was previously getting this at Aldi in the smaller little, I believe, is it eight ounce bars, I think. Um, but I was paying more for per pound for them. My logic for that was this will go bad too fast. I won't be able to use it up. So I'm going to buy the smaller quantities. And you all encouraged me in the comments to go ahead and get the cheaper per pound. And if I'm not going to use it up in time to go ahead and grate it up, put it in the freezer and it'll use, you know, it'll work just fine. So that's what I'm doing now. I went ahead and did this this month at Sam's Club instead of Aldi. And, uh, you know, I like having the savings. It makes me happy. So... <laughs> All right, what in the world is the deal with the hot dogs? That's a crazy amount of hot dogs. It's, I think I got 15 packages of hot dogs. So this, you guys, is for the meet and greet. October 14th, if you have not RSVP'd yet, I'm gonna put a link to the event in the description box so you can let us know you are coming. We're going to feed you guys and uh, guess some of what you're going to have to eat is hot dogs. <laughs> so, no, my plan is to make a big mega pot of chili and have hot dogs. So you can pick just to have a bowl of chili or you can have a hot dog and chips or you can make up a chili cheese dog or you can make up a Frito chili pie. But since this was my last time shopping at Sam's Club prior to the meet and greet, 
I had to go ahead and stock up on all my hot dogs on this trip. So I did buy 15 packages of these. I figure, you know, I want plenty for the people that are coming. And if there's extra, they'll just keep in my freezer and our family will be set then on hot dogs. These will not go to waste if they're not all used up at the meet and greet. And again, Sam's Club is the best price that I have found on beef hot dogs. So that's why I stocked up there. Now we have the chips. Now in months past, I have gotten these little snacky bags of chips at Aldi and then sometimes at Walmart, wherever has the best price. This is the first month I have purchased them at Sam's Club. And that is because I found their Members Mark brand. 33 cents each is what it breaks down to for these little snacky bags of chips. Now these are not things that we consume on a regular basis. I keep these in the house specifically for times when we are traveling on the road and we take sandwiches and chips with us because we're going to be traveling during meal time. This is what keeps us from stopping at a restaurant and spending money to feed nine people, which is expensive. So that's what these are for. This box will last us for a long while because, let's see, it says there's 42 bags in there and that will last a good long while. Now this is also my first month getting my contact lens solution at Sam's Club 2. I have always just bought it at Walmart, just their cheapy, generic, you know, Walmart brand. But when I did the cost comparison, the Sam's Club bundle pack here was the better deal. So this will keep me stocked up for a while. I'm the only one in the house that wears contacts, so this will last me a good long while. And then the salmon. And again, I have gone back and forth. Sometimes I have gotten salmon at Walmart and sometimes at Aldi. But when I did the price comparison, Sam's Club has been the best deal. And this month I paid $3.21 per can. These come in little uh, four pack. Let me pick one up here. See, a little four pack caddy of salmon. And it breaks down to $3.21 per can. And I went ahead and got eight cans to restock my stockpile out in my pantry. And then butter. Sam's Club has been my best butter price for several months now. It used to be $3.15 a pound. And this month it has gone down to $3.06 per pound. So that is my current price to beat. If I do find a sale in one of my local weekly sale ads, uh, Kroger or Aldi or Ten Box, then if it's less than $3.06 a pound, then I'll get it at one of those stores. But otherwise, I go ahead and get it at Sam's Club for now. And I only needed this one four pack to top off my stash of butter that I keep on hand. And we're getting down to the end of the pile here. Okay, the turkey bacon. I do purchase this every month. I keep usually about five packages on hand in my deep freeze for the month. And it looks like we had used up four of them last month. So I am just replenishing the four that were used last month. So for being turkey bacon, I like these at Sam's Club because I like the ingredient list on them. Very basic ingredients. We like the taste of it. So this is our go-to month after month. And our last item, this right down here, it's new. This is a Canadian turkey bacon, which I saw it was right there next to the regular turkey bacon. Uh, the same uh, company, it looks like, produces it. But we thought we'd try this out. We've been doing pizzas here lately and uh, thought this would be good on an all meat pizza for our family. Now, as I'm looking at it, when I came home with it, I checked out the ingredients on this and the ingredients on this, and they're pretty much the same thing. However, this costs quite a bit more per pound. So I'm thinking we'll go ahead and you know, we'll use up these two packages that I purchased of this on pizzas and we'll enjoy it. But in the future, I do not think this is something that I will purchase again, just because if I wanted this, I could make this work just as well and save money per pound. So, okay. 
This was my big Sam's Club haul for the month. And what I'm going to do next is I have my clipboard here and we're going to go over what my cost was for this haul, what I spent out of pocket, and what I have left on our monthly grocery budget now that I have done this stock up and my mega once a month stock up and my Azure standard stock up. We'll see how much money I have left over and if we're going to make it to the end of the pay period with money left over or not. We'll do that next. Okay guys, let's go over these numbers. I've got my clipboard here and we're gonna see where we stand. So if you're new here, I start off with $1,100 per month for our family of nine, which breaks down to 122-ish dollars per person. And that's for all of our groceries and household supplies for the month. I do a once a month grocery shopping haul. Then I go to our local grocery stores and I get the sale ad good, good deals once a week. I do Azure Standard once a month. I, and I do Sam's Club once a month. So I am almost to the end of the pay period. We have one more weeks of sale ads to buy out of the grocery budget now. And will I have enough money to do that? That is the big question. So with the last weekly sale ad video, when we ended that, after we start with the $1,100, I was down to $493.87 left in the grocery budget. And then I did Sam's Club. So my there's a trick here with the Sam's Club haul. So it's bigger than usual. I spent more money than usual. And a lot of that is because of all those hot dogs. That is not a normal expense that we would have in our family's grocery budget, but we have the meet and greet set up for us to get to visit in person with our YouTube viewers. And I have not set aside a separate budget category for meet and greet food. I'm just buying the food out of our regular family grocery budget but you guys also send gift cards to our family. And what that has done is that has given me more options with the grocery budget. So instead of the $1,100 out of pocket, I now have $1,100 this month, plus the gift cards that you guys have sent me. And several of you have specified, I'd like this to be for supplies for the meet and greet. So thank you for that. The Sam's Club haul today was partially paid for with gift cards sent from viewers. So my out of pocket was, I'm looking at my clipboard here, $344.61 is what I spent out of pocket for the Sam's Club items here. When I deduct that from what my grocery budget started with, I am now left with $149.26 for the remainder, remainder of the pay period. So my husband gets paid on October 10th, and so I need to make it through October 9th. And all I have left for that $149 is next week's sale ads. Well, that would be under normal circumstances. Next week, when I do my shopping for those sale ads, I'm gonna get the things that are on sale. I'm gonna stock up and you know, study the ads and get the things that are the best deals, but I am also going to get some, some more supplies for the meet and greet. So I'm thinking shredded cheese and corn chips. I'm trying to think of things that I can go ahead and buy here a little bit ahead of time. Go ahead and get those and have them stashed away so I'm using my money wisely and then when I get uh, when he gets paid again I will have more of that grocery budget money to go ahead and buy things like um, veggies and stuff for the veggie tray and things like that so I've already been buying ground beef for the chili and I've been buying things here and there so it's all coming together I'm confident it's all gonna work out between my budget and me working the sales and finding the best deals and then you guys blessing me with the gift cards 
I really think we're going to be able to have this meet and greet and I'm not going to have to spend anything extra, you know, out of the ordinary food wise, as far as that goes. So I don't know that it's exciting to me to, I don't know, think we could pull that off. I'm thinking about 150 ish people. That's what I'm planning for at least might show up and to think we could have a party for 150 people and feed them hopefully well I hope you guys like it and not be spending a bunch of extra money out of pocket I think it's cool so <laughs> maybe that's just the numbers nerd in me I don't know guys but I like taking you along on this budget journey with me through the month and I hope you enjoy it too so if you did you know give me a thumbs up I appreciate it guys and make sure you are subscribed to our family's channel if you are not already and if you wouldn't mind tell your family and friends to watch Ozark Family Homestead and it does really truly help our family's channel grow thank you so much guys be sure to RSVP in the link in the description box if you think you can come to our meet and greet it's free and we would love to see you and all the details will be in that link I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Oh